sit with you guys, rap for a little bit. No, I'm kidding. We're actually going to do our 430 demo. This is our last gameplay demo of PAX 2011. PAX Prime. There are two PAXs. I now need to be fair. PAX Prime. PAX East. So you guys can watch along as we meet Matthew Fisher Ward does a little talking. And our driver over there, Mr. Joe Lucy Longworth. Soldier. Give it up for Joe. You guys can watch along on this television right behind me or on the very big, big screen, which is actually made. I, seriously, I've been looking at this all day. This is made of 32 little screens. Like, the back of it is kind of intimidating. Yeah, it's a little scary. But it looks pretty. So, don't hurt your necks, though. You know, step back if you guys want to watch on the screen. This is our last demo here of Fax 2011. I just want to make absolutely certain before we leave that we've hit all of the really big points about what we brought out to show to you guys. Last year, last year our demos were all about getting people to understand the concepts of Guild Wars 2. We talked a lot about dynamic events. We talked a lot about visceral combat. We talked a lot about our personalized story. We really have to get people to understand what is a dynamic event. I don't understand. I'm used to quests. I don't I don't get I don't what is this thing? So we did stuff like stripped out character customization and we gave you guys a really focused experience so that people would really get what we're saying. And this year people have come to us and said, we get it. Now what more is there? So this was the year that we brought out for you guys our PvP, which we had over at the Alienware booth. Don't run over there now. It's all over. It's all over. The fight The fight was hard fought, but, but, but when it heavily came to the devs, the victors of the day. We're also showing off for the first time here in North America all five of our playable races. Last year we brought out just the Char and the Human, but now we've got also the Norn starting experience, the Asura and the Silvari for the first time playable in North America. We also went ahead and brought with us our character customization system. Again, we stripped this out last year because we didn't want people to waste their 40 minute demo learning about how, you know, they like the position of their eyes and their eyebrows. We wanted learning about dynamic events. But now we brought it so that you guys can have a little taste of what we're going to put into Guild Wars 2. So let me show you a little bit with, uh, with a human here. One of the first things that you'll notice is that right off the bat, it just makes sense. Like you can pick your height, you can pick you know how, how big, how small am I, and then we put in a lot of pictures. We want you to be able to get right into this, find a character that looks right, without adjusting a whole bunch of little sliders, you know? Right off the bat you should know, oh this is, I'm not picking hairstyle number six, I'm picking the emo dude, or you know, I'm picking the, the, the Fabio, or yes, I'm picking the giant afro. Very important, the giant afro. Selecting the color, the cornrows, whatever you have. Picking faces from amongst the many. Choosing a skin tone that delights. Putting on a beard because beards are awesome. Listen, you're not gonna get, you're not gonna get a clean shaven character out of me and Lucy. It's just not gonna happen. And then for those people who really 